something. And Teresa, <coughs> let's talk about the Italian community. Well, I'm speaking about Italy, mm -hmm. and I invite you to try some of the delicacies here that I have offered by so Nick good. and Frank yeah. Piazza, which I'll be speaking to you of them soon. So go ahead. Try oh, we can try that. Okay, maybe a little bit. Thank, oh, oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as we know, <laughs> Italians are the pioneers of immigrations here, being one of the largest community in Canada, second to Toronto. Mm. And uh, Montrealers here, they developed, the Italians developed communities all across uh, Montreal, mm -hmm. and two of the largest ones are in Little Italy and St. Leonard. Mm -hmm. yeah. And well, I'm sorry, it was so good. I still have <laughs> the taste in my mouth. Go, go ahead. That's why I'm waiting for later, because I'm just gonna eat everything. <laughs> I believe there's an institution called Casa d'Italia. Can you tell yes. us more about that? La Casa d'Italia, meaning the House of Italy, mm -hmm. it's one of the first Italian community centers here in Montreal, located on Jean Talon Street. Uh, when it opened, it was a place of solidarity, celebration, you know, to welcome the newcomers, to help them build their new home here in Montreal. And one of the mission was to honor, to remember the history and the heritage of the Italians here. They built this place brick by brick, stone by stone. They'd go to work, and at night they'd build it. it, it it's, uh, it's, it's hard very, to believe. I mean, yes, it and it's sentimental, you know? Yes, it is. Uh, inside the community center, it did get, receive a facelift in 2009, mm. and it's gorgeous. There's events, there's uh, theatrical events as well, there's a uh, media room, uh, there's operas that go on in there. Their art exhibitions. They have a website. You can visit their website uh, to get more and information. And I believe it's open for everyone. It is. It's open mm. to the public. And they also have a wall of memory oh. that pays tribute to the parents and grandparents that left Italy to come here to start a new life. And what's new now inside the Casa d'Italia is the Italian Canadian Archives of Quebec. Oh. So they're preserving oh. records and passports so of the uh, Italians that arrived here in the, in the early 1900s. And well, I heard there's a, a recreation center, I think, is it St. Leonard? Yes, mm. Il Centro Leonardo mm. da Vinci. Look at the oh, is it so right. beautiful? <laughs> it sounds like music. It's exactly. 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 Well, Leonardo da Vinci is one of the most innovative of painters, course. and mm -hmm. the center bears his name, which mm. really pays tributes to the Italian community here. And at first, it was an Italian cultural center, oh. but now it's a cultural center for everyone. For everyone. This place is a must. It's in St. Leonard on La Cordaire. It's uh, simply breathtaking when mm. you walk in. It's marble walls and uh, pillars and oh. granite and it's wooden frames. There's a... Um, a lot of people go there to take pictures for how beautiful it oh, is. Oh, it's, it's mm -hmm. And they put it on Instagram, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course. You don't take pictures Do it for the no, no, no. There's two no. theaters. Uh, there's mm. a, a wellness and fitness center, rehabilitation wow. center. They have a cafe, free parking. Uh, visit their website. They have all kinds of events, mm. musical events as well. Oh, cool. A lot of VIP oh, conferences, really cool. and they offer cooking lessons. Oh. So if you want to learn some cooking, Italian style, oh. Leonardo da Vinci is the place to go. Do you get to eat the food that you cook? Yes, after? you do. Probably. This is the fun okay. part. Yes, you right? do. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> and speaking of cooking, it's really hard to speak about Italian community and culture without have a little piece of meal to exactly. you know the liquities that um, all the Italian food comes. Yes. So, and there's a new place that has opened in mm. Little Italy. It opened in August of okay. 2019, mm. and it's called Piazza Salumi. Piazza mm. Salumi. And this is where they come from. Uh -huh. Now, oh. Piazza Salumi is cold <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Yes, Thank you. this is from the two brothers, Nick and Frank Piazza. Thank you, Nick and Franco. We really yes. appreciate that now, gesture. Now, what's important is these cold cuts are not regular cold cuts that mm. you find anywhere. These are fumigali. Uh, cold cuts. You can, uh, you know, search online. It's a company in Italy that's okay. existed over 50 years. It's a oh. family run. They have their own farms and they almost hand feed their oh animals. Oh, wow. These are like oh. gluten free, no MSG, lactose free. Oh, They're organic. Well. Incredible. No vegan. No. <laughs> Don't push too much. <laughs> now, once you go inside Piazza Salumi, I'm sure you're going to leave with something. They offer mm. cheeses across uh, the country. Or you don't leave. No, or you don't leave. You <laughs> just, just stay, stay there. there. Yeah, you say that. They also have their own sandwiches. They also make their pizzas mm. as well. Wow. You can visit their Facebook page, their website. Of course. They're lo located on uh, Boulevard Saint Laurent, the corner of Dante, mm. where the old Daibafoni restaurant used to be. Mm. Patronato is a. Uh, 
a nonprofit social service agency that's offered to the community, the Italian community, for free. It exists in Europe, in Italy, since 1945. They have offices across Canada. And here in Montreal, we have uh, the Inca that opened. Okay. And they do anything that pertains to passport application forms, Italian pensions, mm. anything that you want to complete. And Vera Rosati, she owns, and not she owns, but she represents, she represents. three offices in Montreal, one of them being on Jerry Street, okay. uh, 1549. So yeah, you can visit their Inca website of and and, we will. and it's free. Anything, anything that has Thank to be done. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Thank you. I'll let you so you can hold.